Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your bonus singles love reading for Virgo. Single ready to mingle Virgos. Hope everyone's well this week. See what's happening. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Overall energy surrounding you in your love life for single ready to mingle Virgos. What does Virgo need to know? wants to come out oh perfect harmony beautiful some of you are looking for someone where you have perfect harmony virgo see, overall energy surrounding you there you go into me i see beautiful virgo overall energy surrounding you in your love life there we are sacred reverence oh my yeah, some of you are looking for some kind of special, that perfect harmony, perfect balance relationship. You may have someone, you may enjoy the same kind of music, okay? Yeah, I see that, but into me I see there is someone here. You may already know who this person is or they know you. This is a Pisces energy. Uh, it's very much a similar energy to... Uh, the High Priestess is the way I see this card, but you can see it's an eight. So there is a lot of abundance here. Definitely there is some love around you and uh, there is this key. And I feel like you both hold this key to this love, to this heart energy. Lovely. So there is someone here. Wow, look at this. I can't even, can't do anything. Can't shuffle, can't do nothing. Out they come. So you're getting some very direct messages here. So there's something to do with safety, security, stability. Two people who build something together and build this perfect harmony. Okay, financial stability. Uh, two people who have each other's back and create something very stable by looking out for each other. Yeah, we have, it could be a reconciliation, but there is a big decision here. And it has to do with commitment, marriage. Uh, someone's belief, traditions, behaviors, the way someone conducts themselves, okay, is something to do with faith. So I feel like someone's about to make a decision here to do with faith, okay, to do with this hierophant. There's something that needs to be learned. I feel there's a, this cancer energy. This is beautiful because I see somebody who's using all the power they have to move forward, okay, taking control of a situation. So there is a decision here being made. So it looks like you have someone here. Yeah, definitely you could be someone that's known you for quite some time. It could be six years, six months. <laughs> Just because it's there, it popped into my head for some reason. And I never usually focus on the numbers a whole lot. Interesting enough. So there is definitely, it could be a new crush. Uh, you know, it's very possible, but I see this decision to do with judgment. This is sort of uh, rising above, and the interesting thing is there's this horn. So there's definitely something to do with uh, music uh, or, you know, or some kind of perfect harmony, and there's this big decision. It has to do with commitment, something solid. Beautiful. Yeah, someone is thinking that way. Yeah, I feel there is this energy moving forward successfully. So I feel as though there's someone here who... Definitely, it's either a crush who wants to have success. Uh, I see a Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, a Libra energy, and Pisces. Very strong. Lovely, yes. And then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be yourself, could be another person. I'm just going to read it as incoming. And you can flip the energy. Yeah, we have another six or something. Move. Somebody here is making plans to talk to you, to communicate, to reach out. It's... Uh, could be someone from the past coming in who uh, wants to have something successful. This is someone who I feel is making some sort of plans. This could be a successful person. It could be yourself. You may get a lot of attention because you're successful or it's this other person. Interesting enough, there's something being learned here. And it has to do with uh, the power to control. It's balancing of emotions, using the power you have to control your emotions. Okay, but I feel like you have someone coming towards you rather quickly. They want to communicate. I see travel, movement, maybe an adventure. Uh, there could be some, uh, could be, you know, it almost feels like a little reunion of some sorts. Interesting enough, but there's some plans being made. It's either you or this person, you know, be, staying very grounded, being very practical. I see a Taurus energy for some of you. 
and uh, making this plans to do with a trip, to do with communicating. This is two people who are taking the time to get to know each other uh, by spending time, by communicating, uh, by talking, to be able to move forward calmly and peacefully. So interesting enough, there's definitely this energy uh, around you. So it could be a Taurus, another Virgo or Capricorn, of course, Sagittarius and Libra, strong Cancer. So let's see what this perfect harmony is. Why is this here? What is this all about? There we go. Yeah, so there is definitely, yeah, there's that energy. Look at that Pisces energy wisdom. So there's some a cycle that's ending and there's a new cycle beginning. And I feel if you have Pisces in your chart, you already know this person, you know everything you need to know or feel you do, but you're trusting your intuition. Okay, you may be moving away from someone, but I feel like there's someone here who's hoping things go in their favor. They're just going to trust their intuition. So someone who's doing a little soul search and going within, looking for answers. So there's definitely someone trying to figure something out, maybe whether you're in a relationship, okay, whether you're uh, into commitment, marriage, things like that. But it's all about that decision about keeping the faith, about being faithful, okay? Yeah, traditions and beliefs, behaviors, code of conduct, sort of a moral situation as well. All right, into me I see. Yeah, so there is definitely this way in the pros and the cons. Someone's making a decision here. It's a tough one. It's way in the good with the bad, the pros and the cons. It might be a little bit of a bumpy ride. And I feel there's a decision, yeah, to trust. The decision is to trust the intuition and when it comes to love. Uh, there is something here about uh, a cycle ending and a new cycle, just trusting it, being very wise about how to get things in your favor, or there's someone who's thinking that way, okay? They're being wise. This is someone who's sort of trusting their gut, weighing the pros and the cons, maybe taking a little pause, okay, and a little inner reflection. Uh, to make this decision to move forward in love. Yeah, there's a little bit of be careful what you wish for energy, but I feel like want, there's some good that outweighs the bad kind of energy to do with this decision. This is uh, getting something that you want. But this person's hoping to get what they want, but they're, you know, they know there's a little bit, you know, of energy of being careful, being cautious, offering up one cup, nothing more, sort of holding back a little bit, just to, until, you know, it's like the intuition saying, be wise, just kind of hold back, only offer a little bit for now. Keep the rest to yourself until you're sure, okay, till you have all the answers, till you learn. It's getting to know somebody is really what it's saying. Taking the time to get to know someone, because you really never know for sure. So it's about using that inner wisdom, that inner knowledge, the things that you already know from past relationships. So, yeah, so I feel you got someone headed your way in this energy. Sacred reverence, there we go, yeah. So I feel, yeah, definitely, I feel there's some kind of an event, something to ha about to happen. I feel there's definitely, there's, th this learning is what's, really got my attention and it has to do with love learning uh, from the past the things that you already know and I feel there's some kind of an event maybe a, like I said I felt the whole reading together makes me feel like some kind of reunion some kind of get together uh, two people getting together there could be a third person there may have been some kind of gossip or something maybe you heard something about this person or they heard something about you uh, to do with an event okay there could be something taking place it looks positive with sacred reverend this is something uh, really nice so if this person has this be careful what they wish for you know sort of weigh in the pros and the cons, uh, trying to be wise about some sort of invitation, some kind of an event. Okay, so there's something going on that you may be getting an offer to uh, get together, go for a drink. Maybe there's, you know, some kind of yearly event happening and you may get an invitation of some sort. It could be yourself also uh, doing that. Okay, reaching out to someone. It could be social media. I feel like this person... Um, feel like they're like they're looking for some answers before they make this decision because it's a huge decision okay and it does have to do with a bit of a reunion of some sort it doesn't mean between people it could be uh, this person you know there's an event that they go to and they may be thinking of inviting you to this right 
Yes, to get to know you more, to grow closer. And that's what I feel. It's sort of a lot of thinking, but they need there's something they're trying to make a decision about. Now, maybe it's whether or not like they want to reach out. They don't really know uh, if you're in any kind of a relationship or even a situationship because there's a little bit of a pause there to make that to find that balance. Be careful what you wish for energy, but there could be a wish granted. You may get something you want here. Or this person may get something they want if they're scoping you out on social media. They may find that information. So tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here for Virgo? Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I feel there's someone possibly reaching out. They could be a Cancer or someone. They might just reach out and go, hey, how are you doing? A little bit of a reunion, someone you haven't spoke to for a long time. Offering one cup, making that decision. It could be to do with a reconciliation, getting together, but I feel like it's more like the, it's a big decision for this person. It, you know, it has to do with uh, making things stable, has to do with commitment. It, it has to do with being reliable. So yeah, someone's about to reach out, offer a little cup, it's an invitation, hey, do you want to do this? I do this every year, you know, that sort of energy. So here we have, yeah, someone holding back and thinking. So they're holding back a little bit, clearing out negative thoughts, negative energy. I mean, it could be a reconciliation for some of you where this person has gone through some kind of healing and they're releasing negative energy and they want to communicate. It could even be apology, but it's someone who definitely likes to hold back and think, especially with this Libra energy. Energy. okay it's like there it could be someone fishing for information trying to find out if you're in any relationship and they're kind of holding back some of it and they're trying to get out of their head as well okay so yeah see there's that stability yeah someone definitely wants something stable maybe this person has ended a relationship because uh, there is a cycle that's ended and a new cycle beginning but I you know that's they could definitely have some Pisces in their chart but not necessarily could be yourself as well. You may already know everything you need to know about this person, okay, or you feel like you do. You might weigh the pros and the cons if they reach out and, you know, offer an invitation or invite you to something. It has to do with whether you can rely on them. So you may pull back and kind of think about it you know, to see if it feels comfortable, if it feels right. Uh, but there is a sense of stability, clearing the air, uh, talking, um, making things stable. This person's definitely maybe apologizing for not being reliable or maybe uh, there's this, maybe they felt they didn't have enough money in the past. They weren't stable enough. So they had to pull back. They may have had to go through a healing as well. And it could have been to do with something financial. Interesting. Tell me about this. I feel like you know them, but I don't feel there was a relationship. It's just somebody who may have been crushing for a very long time, and they may have been wanting to get your attention. Okay. <laughs> uh, but they are stable now. They're financially stable. They're grounded. They've learned a lot, maybe about themselves over a period of time. Interesting enough. Tell me about this judgment. Yes, yeah, big decision, big judgment here. A little bit of a wake up call. This person could call you, um, you know, and wake you up. It could be early in the morning or later at night, that sort of energy. I do feel music is involved. There's something harmonious about this. Uh, and it could be a music event as well, I see. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it could be, you know, some kind of yearly festival or just a get together. It could be anything. It could be very simple as well, just with friends, family. Judgment. There we go. Uh, yeah, so there is a, definitely there's something evolving. There's some kind of change. So maybe someone's changed their mind or they've gone through, they've, they've kind of evolved. It's something, it's about going with the flow. And yeah, there's definitely some change here. Maybe someone's changed their mind uh, about commitment or there's something here to do with faith, something about safety, security, stability, whether someone can be relied upon. Interesting enough, this could be something you're waiting for. But you know, this is an energy of just sort of waiting to see what happens, going with the flow, um, you know, holding on, maybe waiting for this message, maybe even waiting for this person to reach out to you um, to see if they've changed their mind. Uh, to see if they're, you know, if they've evolved, if, you know, what has changed. And it has to do with this decision. So maybe you've made the decision to kind of just hold on, 
you know, see where things go, but keep your options open. So it could be the other person as well, just kind of, you know, seeing what happens, keeping their options open. And they, it looks like this person, uh, it almost looks like maybe you've been waiting for this. And I do see this Sagittarius energy, waiting for something to change, uh, making this big decision. So tell me about this Hierophant. Yes, old school rules. Tradition, belief, behavior, the way someone conducts themselves in their relationships, having faith. Yeah, it's kind of going with the flow, not necessarily having a lot of faith that this will go anywhere, but it's just kind of letting it flow, you know, not holding it back, just sort of looking out there. You know, it's, it's a good energy. It's, it's normal for two people to get together and just kind of go with the flow, see what happens. Not necessarily having complete faith. Yeah, there is definitely a need for some kind of truth, some kind of aha moment. Yeah, there's a need for some kind of truth and clarity. So this could be, you know, you may be waiting for this person to communicate or you're going to have an aha moment. You may be trusting your intuition. You may be feeling like something's about to happen. And it's possible you may have this person reaching out. And it could be you thinking about this as well, wondering if this person is still available, if they're in a relationship, if they're single, if they've kind of moved on. Tell me about this power. But I feel like this person, you know, they're, this is someone here who is having an aha moment there. There's something to do with truth. There's something to do with success, to do with the higher font. To, you know, it's someone's learning something here. And I feel they could be scoping you out on social media. And they're finding out a truth and having an aha moment, okay? And that's what I feel for most of you. Yeah, I see some kind of communication coming in very fast to do with some kind of event, some kind of get-together, communicating back and forth. There's this flow of abundance, a lot of talk interesting enough could be a, you you could be talking about the past okay it doesn't mean you know this person really well it could be just someone where there's this communication about a past a past event something that's going on here but it could also be someone who's been crushing for a long time okay maybe reminiscing a little you may reminisce together and talk about something uh, maybe there you know there's a place where maybe you met this person in the past and they've kind of been Maybe they weren't, didn't feel they were stable enough. Maybe they felt they couldn't be reliable. They may have kind of moved on and they could be coming back around feeling more stable and reliable. Very strong Taurus for some of you. Yes. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is this here? Yeah, you may have met. You may reminisce about a past situation, a conversation, something that happened. It doesn't look negative. It actually looks positive. Six of Cups. There we go. That one wants to come out. Yeah. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's someone here. Yeah. I mean, this could be yourself reminiscing about this person. They could be reminiscing about you. There's something to do with um, someone who's focused on themselves, focused on career, having a lot of success. So I feel as though you've got this person, or this could be yourself too, focusing on your career, your finances, uh, having a lot of success. Maybe you're getting a lot of attention, that sort of energy. But it could be the other person too. There may be some talk about a person. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, definitely some strong Sag energy, or you both have some fire in your charts. Success and adventure, a lot of passion here. There's something being focused on. I feel whoever this person is, this Queen of Staves, uh, this is someone here who's definitely focused on a past situation. But this could be someone who could be reminiscing, thinking about uh, going off. I feel like someone's focusing on adventure, going off on an adventure, also focusing on success. But you see this past energy. Uh, very interesting. We'll see what comes up beside it. Put the pieces of the puzzle here. Ah, we have the King and Queen of Wands. Wow, there you go. So we've got two people. You, you know, it's possible you met this person. You talked about work at an event at some point. Uh, there definitely was some kind of a connection. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So definitely there's some fire here. Two people who are very creative, very passionate, very hardworking, very focused on career, finances, creativity, but very passionate about what they do. So there is something about success. Someone here might have a little bit of an ego and like to kind of have things their way. I see a little bit of control issues. Okay, a lot of talk about that. Someone may have lost control of a situation in the past. 
and they may be coming back in to take control so yeah it depends who you are in this story but i see this you know this energy here of two people who are financially stable you both could have taurus virgo or capricorn in your chart aries leo sag interesting enough it's like that. there's something here about harmony about perfect harmony maybe you're both musicians you write music you're creative there's something that works okay and there's some sort of an event something's about to happen or it has happened in the past and there's this reminiscing interesting enough yeah so there's this yeah, so there is a new beginning here. There's something here becoming very clear. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. Yeah, for some of you, there's a Taurus energy, but this has to do with um, faith, commitment, uh, everything being out in the open. There's a need for some truth and clarity. So I feel like you've got, you know, you may, this person may come towards you and ask you if you have someone new. Maybe you do. Maybe you've started something new with someone. You may have a few people around you, or it could be this other person. Something is being exposed to do with uh, belief, tradition, behavior, the way someone conducts themselves. So there could be this new beginning. Like, it looks like you, you know, it almost looks like this person is thinking about reconciliation, but they're not so sure, okay? They're a little bit, be careful what they wish for uh, one of you or both of you may have a choice between other people as well. There's this decision being made, just going with the flow. There's definitely a need for some kind of change to do with the belief, uh, to with this hierophant, to do with something that's being learned. So, and it could be through that reminiscing period. I feel like you're going to talk, you're going to reminisce. It looks passionate, it looks fiery, it looks very creative. Uh, very much two people who are very focused okay <laughs> beautiful yeah so there's some kind of harmony here and it has to do with this tradition someone's habits okay it could be just simple as that so i feel as if you've got someone who's coming towards you and they come back and act exactly like they did before you're likely going to move away okay uh, move on to avoid a disaster but i feel like there's something coming out in the open with this whatever it is that's being learned. Uh, and I feel like there's this, could be an energy of just talking, moving forward, getting to know each other more. Because it's almost like you didn't get to know each other very well. It's almost like, it's sort of like there was a lot of talk and somebody just moved on in another direction. You both may have, you both may have been not, you know, ready for a commitment or marriage or anything stable. You may have been focused on careers. You could be both self-employed. Uh, and very focused on that. But something is evolving. Something is changing. Someone's coming around, okay, because of this. So, yeah, a little bit confusing. Uh, I do see it's possible there could be uh, you or the other person could be weighing the pros and the cons between two people, okay, trying to make a decision. You may have a few offers. But for most of you, I feel like this is more of a reminiscing uh, between two people. There's something with to do with perfect harmony here, something to do with, it's either music or you're, there's just something harmonious, okay? Interesting enough. And I see two horns, so I see a lot of communication, especially with that eight of wands, with the cancer, with the chariot card, very fast incoming communication. Somebody is kind of coming back in uh, because something has changed. They're having some kind of aha moment. Wow. Yeah, so there is definitely this energy of being patient, getting to know each other, investing, okay? So yeah, this person may be not so sure you'll be interested in investing, but I feel they want to communicate. Uh, maybe they want to know if you're still interested, and that's what it looks like. They're, they're sort of looking at this, being very patient, wondering if they should invest in this, uh, moving forward, taking the time to get to know each other. It does require patience. So, wow, yeah, and it's going to take a lot of work. So look at this energy. This is two people working together, being patient with each other, being very creative, finding creative ways to hang out, talk together, get to know each other. So interesting, yeah, definitely a lot of work, but, you know, this is about investing. I think you're both invested in work. I feel like there's going to be a lot of talk about this okay uh, there's something has evolved or changed possibly even both of you have gone through a lot of changes you've been kind of holding out maybe looking out there waiting to meet that special person and then there's this reminiscing suddenly some kind of aha moment so yeah very nice energy so it looks like you have someone coming around that you met at some point in the past and this person definitely 
you know, was thinking about love. It was positive. It was a good meeting, whatever it was. There may have been some kind of connection made, but it never really went anywhere because someone was in their head. They were holding back. Maybe they had to deal with, you know, they weren't financially stable and they were very concerned with their stability uh, or something to do with someone, you know, um, being married, uh, some kind of traditions, beliefs, code of conduct to do with safety, security, okay? So, yeah, take that how it resonates for you. But it, it's a positive energy, and I feel like the two of you, you may decide to get to know each other, put some, put some effort into this. You may decide to create something, but it's definitely about investing, hoping that your investment pays off or they're hoping their investment pays off with some work, but it won't if there is no work put in, no effort put in. So if, if someone doesn't invest and they don't put the effort in and they come back around, like you may be thinking that and they don't put any effort and they come back around and act exactly like they did before, try to control things, maybe they have an ego, right? This is someone who may have a bit of an issue, uh, something to do with their ego. And it doesn't mean they're bad. It's, you know, a lot of people try to really control things, right? Because uh, an ego can be fear, it can be a lot of different things. But I feel like someone's about to set themselves free. They're definitely focusing on this future it has to do with the belief tradition, something's being exposed, there's a new beginning. Someone is thinking about something, they're doing this uh, change, change of heart, um, through reminiscing and it's interesting because it you know it, it is up be careful what you wish for that this person will invest that they'll take the time to get to know you I see movement learning about each other communication is key yeah so you know that's what it is so maybe you know this person's going to come towards you and you're going to kind of focus on the past the way they acted the way they conducted themselves and you're not going to be a hundred percent sure okay so yeah you might be a little bit concerned that they're gonna you know something will be exposed you'll start something and they'll do exactly what they did before and it's very slow energy too so there's this you know if somebody is moving very very slow as far as moving towards a relationship but yet they're very focused on that passion they really want that kind of attention you might sort of hold back a little bit and, and uh but it's saying to be patient give this a uh, chance to work out uh, through communication so yeah the reflecting on the past so I uh, and it's not like this person you know it's not like they're going to conduct themselves if there was never a relationship like in that proper manner you know in a moral way whatever it is but it may have been talk about um, uh, commitment. There was some kind of aha moment in a, in a communication in the past that someone sort of went, ooh, you know, it, it's a win or lose situation. Do I make a decision to move away from this person? Which is what looks like happened. Just sort of move away and then they come back around with a different sort of attitude. But you're being cautious here, I feel. Tell me about this three of... There it is. Yeah, so there is definitely a communication. You're looking at this. It could be an invitation. You're taking your time. You're looking at the details. You're weighing the pros and the cons, <laughs> you know, trying to decide whether it's a good idea or not. But I feel that it's some kind of an apology or reaching out. You want to make sure whoever this is, that they have changed, okay? And it's going to be a very big decision. I feel like you'll take a pause and just kind of reflect, kind of go with the flow a little bit. But there is this something to do with traditions, maybe the way you believed to this situation to be in the past, or maybe you perceived this person to be different than they actually are, or vice versa. Yeah, there's something, it's positive though. I feel very positive energy. So there's definitely something that needs to be exposed, something that needs to be learned. And either you've learned it or they've learned it, or even maybe both of you. So there is this great and full. Yeah, there's some kind of offer. There is definitely somebody who wants to start from scratch. They want to get to know you. They want to make an offer. So yeah, you definitely, I feel you know them. You've met them at an event. And I do feel there was something here. Uh, the key is the learning, okay, that aha moment where you're going to reflect. So maybe you need to reflect on the past and you'll realize who this is or some, if you do know who it is, you're going to sort of reminisce about a com uh, communication to sort of try and figure something out here. And you will get that, you will get that clarity and it's positive. So we have this bearing fruit, yeah. So we have definitely there's something very positive. There's a lot of uh, abundance between the two of you. It's a very abundant offer, okay. So very nice energy. I like that. This is, you know, it kind of feels like an empress kind of energy, but this is both people uh, coming together, okay, uh, to put the effort in, to put the work in. It takes two, okay, and that's what it's basically saying. I see two hardworking people, very creative, 
Um, definitely getting having a lot of success, financial stability. Uh, yeah, I, I see something really positive here. But I feel there's things that still need to be learned. So yeah, there is something that needs to be released, okay, willingly. Letting go of things that no longer serve to move forward. And it's not heavy, it's a very light energy. You know, I love this card. You see that butterfly? Someone's letting go of something. So whatever that means to you, or it could have to do with this other person, so things can flow, so this abundance can flow. And it has to do with that investment and that patience. Wow. Releasing something. It could be just fears. Uh, somebody might have been holding back. They didn't feel stable. They didn't feel safe. Maybe they weren't ready. Uh, definitely they made a connection with you. But I feel they kind of pulled back and they kind of got up in their head a little bit too much. So we have the royal you. So, yeah. So I feel here definitely, you know, hold yourself in high regard, value yourself. I feel like this person probably does and vice versa. I feel there's a lot of abundance. I feel that's that perfect harmony. You're going to reminisce about a conversation. And that's where that's the key to this situation and this person. You might not realize who it is until they reach out. Then you're going to start to be thinking and really focus on that past energy all right you want to make sure that they are focused on you maybe they weren't very focused on you in the past okay maybe they were focused on other people maybe this is someone who was getting a lot of attention they weren't really ready to settle down it could be a lot of different things but there is this new beginning this person coming in to take control they're hoping to have success Okay, beautiful energy. Yeah, they're definitely more successful. I feel this person feels more stable, more reliable. So there is a power move. Look at that. This person's coming in to take the lead. Yeah, there's some old school rules here. Interesting enough. Yeah. Lovely energy, Virgo. Tell me about the power move. Let's see where this wraps up. Why is this here? This power move. What is this power move all about? Yes, there's something ending and something beginning. There's a transition. So that's, that's neat. Somebody is transitioning. They're going through an ending. They're releasing something that no longer serves. It could be ego. It could be um, dating other people. It could be anything, okay? Uh, whatever it, it means to that person. And it could be yourself as well. There's something about to transform to do with this power move. So it is something that's going to require some work and patience on both people's part and a lot of communication. Uh, and I feel like you could grow closer. You could really build something quite beautiful here. Uh, two very uh, creative, hardworking people coming together. So we'll see where it goes. You'll have to let me know, Virgo, that it looks very positive. I see this power move, this transformation. Somebody is coming in to make that move, that, 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 that move to move forward to in a very powerful way because they want this transformation. Okay, beautiful. Take care, Virgo. I wish you the best and bye for now.